An Edinburgh student says she wants to make sure that her vote counts. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey asked Hidalgo County election officials what they're doing to make sure this first vote and all the others are tallied on election day. Abby Palomo took time to get away from her studies at UTRGV today. She made her first trip to a polling place for the first day of early voting. She says in times like these, it's a must to get out and let your voice be heard. Abby Palomo is out to prove her vote counts. She wants her classmates, family members, and friends to know their ballot won't fall victim to fraud. So people can stop saying that it doesn't make a difference if you do go out and vote. Palomo generally trusts the system, yet she says in an era of malware and hacking, her vote could be in danger of being zapped. Uh, I hope not, but it's possible, especially with the technology around right now. And she wants to make sure the county takes action to make sure every vote cast today is counted accurately. Palomo wants to know if the county is working with groups such as the Department of Homeland Security to secure the voting process. For them to thoroughly check and make sure that there's no meddling occurring and to ensure that there's safety when we go out and vote. Channel 5 News reached out to the Hidalgo County Elections Administrator Yvonne Ramon to ask if the county is in communication with DHS. She says she speaks with the group regularly in an effort to avoid malware tainting any vote tally. We receive daily, daily any type of, of uh, cautionary uh, uh, look for us. For example, they'll outline any type of accounts that are that that we should be aware of that are maybe white listed or green listed and so it's a lot of the cybersecurity talk. If the county sees any files were compromised in any way, Ramon says it will be reported to DHS to be checked out and fixed. Ramon adds the voting machines cannot be hacked. They are not internet based, so Palomo could feel secure her vote will be counted accurately. Palomo tells us she's happy to hear it. In the Channel 5 News studio, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News at 6.